Welcome to another free tutorial brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate the difference between two times in Microsoft Excel. Okay, here I am inside of Excel. Now, I'm using Excel 2010, but this lesson works for any version of Excel. I'm working with a simple time card, so I've got a time in and a time out. Now, this example only works if time in is less than time out. So I've got 9.15 a.m. out at 5.25 p.m. Now you can calculate the difference between two times by simply subtracting the smaller time from the larger time. The larger time is the most recent time, the time most in the future. So I'm going to say equals B2 minus A2, enter. And that gives me a difference, but it says 8.10 a.m. What does that mean? Excel gave you the answer as hours and minutes. So that's 8 hours and 10 minutes between those two times. If I auto-fill this down now for the next row, I get 2 p.m. Well, what is that? Well, 2 p.m. in military time is 1,400. So there are 14 hours between the time in and the time out from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Now, you probably don't want that result given as a time. You want that given as a number, so you can work with it. You can calculate the number of hours or the number of minutes. Having that result displayed as a time doesn't really help you much. So we're going to format that value as a number so we can actually work with it. So let's format this entire column as a number. I'm going to select the entire column right there, right click, come down to Format Cells, then I'm going to pick number, and the default format is fine. Click OK. Now I've got a value like 0.34 and 0.58. What does that mean? Well, in Excel, the value of 1 is equal to 1 day. So this 0.34 is 0.34 of a day. This is 0.58 of a day, and that makes sense, right? That's a little more than half a day. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. would be half a day. So now all I need is a little math. I just need to convert days to either hours or minutes, whatever you want. So to convert to hours, I can come over here and say equals this, which is days, times how many hours in a day? 24. So it's 8.16 hours, and I can drag that down too. There's 14 hours. If you want minutes, equals this times 60. And there's minutes, 490 minutes, and so on. And you could put this all inside of one formula if you want to. If you want minutes, for example, just change this times 24 times 60. Don't forget your parentheses. And there's my value in minutes. And of course, these are now irrelevant. Let's delete these. So now I can see there are 490 minutes between the time out and the time in. And that's how you can calculate the difference between two times. Now I cover calculating the difference between times and dates in a lot more detail in my Excel 2010 Expert Level 2 class. Just go to ExcelLearningZone.com, look for my Excel 2010 classes, and look for Expert Level 2. Excel Expert Level 2 is about an hour and a half long. It covers pretty much everything you want to know about using dates and times in Excel. We'll talk about how Excel stores dates and times internally. We'll learn about date time arithmetic, adding two dates, subtracting two dates, or times. We'll learn how to use custom date time codes and formats to display dates and times exactly how you want to see them. We'll learn about all the different popular date time functions. There are a ton of different functions we'll go over. Year, month, day, weekday, calculating the number of business days between two dates, all kinds of different functions. We'll learn how to determine the components of a date time so you can take any date time value and pull out any specific bit of information, like how many seconds are in this date. We'll learn how to construct a date time from its components. In other words, here's a day, here's a month, here's a year. Put that together into a valid date time. We'll learn how to calculate someone's age or an anniversary date exactly. 
determine the number of work days between two dates. And then for our sample project, we'll create a timesheet to actually track employee hours. So again, that's ExcelLearningZone.com and look for Excel 2010 Expert Level 2. As always, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about Excel, please feel free to post them.